この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りします。a l r i g h t y welcome everyone. I'm Tia Boo and I am here to watch season two, episode two of Modazushi.、Uh, first and foremost, I made a lot of mistakes in episode one's reaction. Like a lot. I misinterpreted a ton of things and just, just screwed up. Partly because I took a bit of a break before starting season two, and partly because it's just confusing and I'm not very good with the Chinese names and stuff, or the characters and stuff, or anything and stuff. Whatever. So, some people have let me know some of the things that I made mistakes on in the Discord, so I just want to, to go through them, and that way, hopefully. Y'all realize that, like, okay, we, we, we got certain things squared away a little bit better than I did before.、Um, first of all, first of all, the timeline is off. I thought it was like 13 years since, it, because, because I was talking about, you know, it's, it's been like 11 years since, since I, I thought that the, the weird things going on on the mountain were maybe at the same time as Wei Ying discovering demonic cultivation. No, not at all. Two separate periods of time because of the weird. Stuff okay. Um, the, the scars on, on Lan Zhan's back are from a specifically from a punishment whip, and we don't necessarily we don't we don't know why at this point. Uh, it is not from where I thought it was, which was the, the flogging scene that we saw before, because apparently flogging doesn't leave scars. I wouldn't have known that. Thanks to whoever clarified that, appreciated. Um, also, Ah Yao, the guy who killed Wen Rohan, not Nie, different guy, totally, totally separate person. Uh, also, it was the Jin sect that we visited, not the Nie sect. Okay. The girl in the OP, who I was like, do we know this person? We actually do. That's their Shiji. Okay, cool. And then、uh, the, the, the blood that we saw being splashed on the wall of the hut or the window was not somebody just getting randomly murdered there. It was probably somebody splashing chicken blood or animal blood on the walls to like, prevent de- demons from coming in. Okay. Lots of things I didn't know, lots of things I made tons of mistakes on. Got most of them squared away, I think. And then the other thing was that the,、um, the big the, the things on the hills, the watchtowers, are, are just, they just resonate with whatever spiritual energy is there or something like that. So it's not as though that that would imply that they are necessarily evil and would light up with evilness. And maybe I shouldn't be so, so suspicious of them or of Ayao for like doing that, you know? Makes more sense.、Uh, so with all of that sort of squared away, Let's go ahead and move ourselves on into episode two of season two of Moda Sushi and see where it goes from here. And I'm sure that I will make more mistakes in the future.、Uh, if you want to, to just, just generally comment and, or let me know in the Discord or wherever、uh, and just be like, yeah, so that's not what you thought it was. It's actually this. That would be really helpful. I would actually appreciate it. Be nice though. Thanks.、Um, just, just trying to do my best here. Anyway,、uh, let's, let's go ahead and dive, in, da, 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 dive into the episode.、Uh, I've got it up and ready to go. It is at zero seconds. There will be two versions of this reaction, as usual. You can find the picture in picture version with the video up there in the description and a timer based version up on YouTube. If you want to sync up your own copy of the episode with the timer based version up on YouTube, you can totally do that. Just、uh, get it ready because the beep beep timer to count you down to the zero mark where we'll start will be coming right now. Probably. Hell, I wasn't accompanied by a parent when I watched anything as a minor. Spooky forest, spooky places, spooky birds, spooky faces. Have we seen this shot before? I don't think so. I think we've seen one. I'm going to turn down my volume slightly. So that was kind of loud. That's better.
Not the same guy. powerful one a scary one a ferocious one mm, more with like with weighing there should be okay maybe we'll see i hope i have a feeling it won't but okay oh there's a familiar boy Is it nothing, though? Hmm. Hey, buddy. Hmm. It's quiet. Too quiet. Spooky. What was that? Ooh, what's that? Mm hmm. Buddy. Not anymore. Not anymore, buddy. That boy possessed. Yeah, let's just stand here for a while and listen. Oh, nice catch. Hmm. Not insane. Possessed. And possibly already dead. Sorry, pal. So, can they fix this? Ah, maybe. Dispel the uh, resentful energy. <laughs> Kill me. No, you. I asked first. You alright now, buddy? Not gonna try and kill anybody? Mm-hmm. There's bad juju around. Yep. Sort of. Yeah, yeah we'll go with that. Ah. <laughs> oh, we're <young. laughs> Hmm. Mm. I think he's talking pretty solid sense. Well, he's more aware of his past than you know. 
Cornetto ad? <laughs> and no bite taken. That's fine. Yes, but that's okay. We love him anyway. <laughs> Fuck off. We know who he's talking about. Who are we hiding here with a purple thing in their hair? Hmm... Very deliberately hidden face. Oh, they're all okay? That's cool. Yeah, dude. You're too pure. Oh, or that. Probably not. Feel like he's fucking with you. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh, it actually has a use. Hmm. Spooky oh Otto That's blood More more of the same Mmm And they're gone Okay Is that the same arm as the the arm? I thought it was the right hand. God, the music is on point. Ooh, that's a familiar sight. Is that a snake? Shouldn't have run away from the powerful people who can actually deal with this stuff. That's a big ass snake. And it's 2D, I think. Yeah. Cool. Measure its length on. Oh. Well, it's definitely longer than any of them, so. Whoa, cool. Cool. It's a good looking snake monster. That change in the music. That was cool. We're done here. Cool fire. Just absolutely unfazed. Ah, uh huh. Little flashback moment. My turn. 
Bro, you were about to be dead. <laughs> uh huh. Hmm. I don't think so, buddy. It is, but I don't think so. Hmm. That's a reprise of the same... Hmm. Right, and he's the son of... Yeah. Is that the rest of the... What is that? Those are people. Once. Whoa. That's spooky. Dispel the fog. Are they people or are they all vine? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. So who set that trap? It seems like it would be something that you would do. Hmm. Whoa. Ah, uh, I've seen corpses do some stuff in this show. Well, you said the word abnormal. Is that... Is that... The general? Wen Ning? He would be a powerful, powerful spirit person thing creature. That's a floating head. Nope. Nope. Yep. Well, that was cool. Well, that was sort of like a uh, core hand guy. Core melty hand boy. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. 
still performing the same sort of ritual? What? Nah, that's not me. Oh, okay. A memory. Huh. Did that really happen? Or, no, wait, that's, that's that. All right, I'm a bit confused by that. If anybody wants to clarify what we just saw, if I'm supposed to know what we just saw, let me know. If I'm not supposed to know, that's fine. Hmm. 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 Yeah. 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 A bird comes and takes the symbolic spider. Hmm. Hmm. That it wasn't him. He would know. Another reprise, but piano. Is that who I think it is? I think it's who I think it is.
Yikes. Nope. Nope. Was that the the cultivator equivalent of a cyanide pill? Yeah. Dude, I don't think you want to fight Wen Ning. I don't think that's the best idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh shit, he just called for backup. Okay, okay, okay. Damn it, now I want to watch the next episode. We could do that. We, we could do that. I've got time. I really like the CD and the visuals for it. They're all super wallpaper worthy. Okay, we can stop here. Cool. Cool episode. I think there were less things to confuse me here, which is a good thing. Uh, OP, still great. ED, even better. Like, ah, it's even better. Okay, so th this guy, not that guy. <laughs> different, different guy. Let's just skim through real fast. Real fast, because I, I do want to watch the next episode. Uh, recognition of the sword. Cool. I forgot that this guy is the son of the Shiji. Now I remember. Glad I remember. Important. Uh, love how nobody recognizes that he's Wei Ying because nobody would. I know that some liberties have been taken that he's supposed to look quite different. Uh, and some liberties have been taken for our benefit to make him look the same. But yeah. Uh, the Cornetto ad? They just keep getting better. Uh, okay, so this hidden individual here. Is this a certain... A certain Jiang person? A certain, a certain Lotus Pier person? Uh, I'm not positive, but I get that vibe. It might not be, but we're very deliberately not showing who this is because it's going to be a big reveal of some kind, so... It's kind of the vibe that I get. I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out eventually, I'm sure. Also, was the symbol that he shot up, was that the symbol of Lotus Pier? It was the color. Hmm. Hmm. Then we find some that are actually dead. We've got this arm that's been gnawed off, but it's been gnawed off by not the big snake thing, but by the floating head thing, I guess. Big snake thing looks real good. Uh, It does not appear to be CG. I might be wrong on that. Actually, it kind of does appear to be CG in a couple of these shots. Regardless, it looks real good. Yeah, that is not CG, is it? It doesn't matter. Really cool with the twisting and the turning and the, the, the curving and the biting and the slashing and the knifing and yeah, pretty awesome. He almost got dead as fuck here. Super dead as fuck. Uh, but then weighing to the rescue using his demonic, demonic cultivation to seal it and cut its head off like a badass. And then as Lanjan is looking over, he, uh, he has some flashbacks to another decapitation that they worked together on. Hmm. He's he's entirely aware at this point, right? 
like he recognized the song and recognized the flute and many other things like Lanjan is entirely aware at this point right or at least he's at like 99.99% suspicion right yeah i get i get that vibe if not then not but okay right this is a cool cool split frame a mutated one memories and we're talking about mom yeah which is why he reacts the way that he does and he's he's just getting pissed off and goes wandering away finds himself in a graveyard of really spooky i mean i love the imagery here the, these spooky vine covered almost as though they're they're treants or ents themselves made of vines these zombies feral zombies very cool so this is all the result of someone some caster creating this trap and I'm I'm a little bit unclear on the purpose of this trap because the the way that it was explained here is like it's a trap that will trap feral zombies. Um, is that in like is that good stuff like to prevent feral zombies from running across the land or is that bad stuff to to like compile feral zombie resentful energy and make it useful or more evil by I I just don't know I just don't know. Uh, if you know, let me know. That would be nice. Man, Lanjan, when he plays his zither, everybody dance or die, you know, depending. So dispel some stuff, and then this becomes a vision. Vision of the truth. Yeah, the robes of the jinn. I love this, how he, he points to him, but not he's pointing past him. And Lanjan just looks up. He's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But no, he's part of the vision. But is it real? I don't know. Put him to rest, seal him away. I love the imagery of, the, of using the spider here. Uh, what on earth is the illustrating curse? Thank you for clarifying. I really appreciate that. We got the spider here. And then the spider dies as though from a curse. Usually we, we see like spider in a web as, as like the big bad. But even the spider in the web can be taken down. Curls up as spiders do when their hydraulic pressure dies away. And uh, then comes... Th then, then, then a crow, which I associate with Wei Wushan. Uh, a crow comes by and eats the spider, which is interesting. Whoosh. Cool looking crow too. Okay. Find his corpse, let it speak for himself. So there is a bit of a conspiracy going on, both to kill this Jin guy, apparently, and to frame Wei Wushan for the murder of said Jin guy. And it appears that Lanjan is somewhat, although he doesn't quite let on, uh, let on to it, is somewhat interested in clearing Wei Wushan's name, because he is a little bit partial to him, honestly. So then we've got this guy with the mask who completely commits suicide. Are we supposed to recognize the scar on him? I'm not sure. Uh, but definitely commits suicide once he realizes he has no way out. Evaporates. And then when Ning appears. Hey, old buddy. And uh, little Jin boy tries to fight the fucking ghost general. On the list of ideas that are not good ideas. That's... That's up there. That is that is not a good idea. You don't want to fight the ghost general. Ever. Ever. Okay. Cool episode. Interested to see where this goes. Interested to see who was signaled and what comes from it. And I'm interested enough to go ahead and watch the next episode. I was going to just do like one episode per uh, per reaction just to, to sort of space it out and savor this a little bit more. But uh I'm into it, and I'm I'm down to watch another episode. So let's watch another episode. I'm gonna take a quick break uh, to resync all the tracks and make sure everything's all synced up so that we get a good good easy thing for me to do in post. And I'll see you in in just a moment. It'll be just a cut here. Peace. All right, we are good to go for episode three of a season two of Modao Zushi. Uh, I've got it up and ready, and beep beep timer will be coming. Hopefully there's no cliffhanger at the end, because I do want to wrap this video up in a reasonable period of time. But uh, yeah, two episodes seems fine. So, let's, let's watch it. If you want to sync up, get your copy ready, because the beep beep timer is coming now.
Web of Intrigue, again with the spider imagery. So, who are we calling? It totally was him. Rut row. Damn, flying on a sword, swinging a whip. Badass. And a problem. So it's safe to assume that he's the one who was hidden, whose face was obscured last episode. Oh, oh, we go hand to hand. Uh oh. Cool imagery. Wending out. Hmm. <laughs> yep. Yeah. No coincidences here. Uh, standing in front of him. Not on my watch. Yep. Oof. Hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just tired a little bit. Yeah. Sad. Super sad. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's real creepy. Are they mixing and matching? Hmm. So it, yeah. Hmm, mass production, eh?
Hmm, yeah, no coincidences. But to what end? So it's someone else. It's not... Okay, that's... That's... That's confusing. We're still hiding this face. Yeah, but it was way... Uh, it was way Wushan. Yeah. <laughs> a nobody. <laughs> hmm. Underestimate at your peril. So he's removing the array. Won't that release all the resentful energy? Or can he just use that as fuel? It's a cool visual for the shattering of a spiritual array. Or containment barrier type field thing. Ooh, cool wipe. Oh, hi. I don't recognize you. Should I recognize him? If I should recognize him, you can tell me who that is. Otherwise, don't tell me who that is. Cool. Okay. Okay. Is that the lady? That's the old woman. We should go and maybe ask her about some stuff. A grave? Ah! Okay, that actually got me. <laughs> that was a nice jump scare. Woo! Poke. Ooh, a mass grave. With the same scars. No, different scars. I have now. Okay. Is that the guy that we just saw? Is that the guy that we just saw? Doesn't look like him. Whoa. Uh huh. Cool wipe. Reprise. Ooh, indifferent. That hand seems to be breaking its bonds. And there's nobody here who can deal with that shit. Uh-oh. Turn around and run. Buddy. No, buddy. Okay. Uh-oh. So there is now a very powerful ghost hand on the loose.
Putting them all to rest, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Oh, so, okay, that was the question I had. True. Me too, buddy. Me too. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> yeah bad juju hand go bye bye yeah Oh, that's the same same shot as before. Still a good shot. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. That was cool. You can still get a bearing. No? Hmm. Hmm. It'll happen when you're dealing with... Oh, so everybody's con converging there. Huh. Everyone is converging there. Cool. Oh. Oh. Shopping episode. Oh, wait. Is this a... Is this a Cornetto ad? That guy in the back is definitely selling Cornettos. <laughs> If it looked like that, I would.
<laughs> uh huh. This is the best ad yet. This is great. Calm down, have a Cornetto. Poppy? Poppy! Oh, that's fairy? Oh. Okay. I'm I'm not sure where the ad started and ended. What are those dome things? Hmm. Hello. Now that's the guy. <laughs> hmm. Flashback? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Tasty snack. Who helped? Was it uncle? Oh. Oh, hi. Okay.
Okay, that's where we can end. Cool. I like this episode a lot. A lot of a lot of cool a lot of cool mystery and and intrigue going on here. I mean, I guess the episode is called Web of Intrigue, so the uh we find out who was being called and it is exactly who I thought it was, but it doesn't appear that he was the one who was obscured, who was trailing them. Although he was obviously trailing them. Get some some cool fight scenes between Wen Ning and 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 Zhang Chang. Zhang, fuck, I can never I can never. It's okay. Actually, what what is his 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 courtesy name? Because that might be easier for me to remember and say. Doesn't matter. Okay, so off they go together, and then we spend some time figuring out what's up with these bodies. Find some some oddities with these bodies. I'll show myself out. Um, <laughs> uh, they've got scars on them. They've been Frankenstein together in a creepy way. To release resentful energy and then combine it down again and then using a reversed version of the seal that would prevent resentful energy from coming in to instead suck it all up and create feral zombies real quickly. So there there are like multiple layers of different people doing different things to these resent to the area to cause weird stuff to go on. So it appears, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, it's totally fine, um, that the array itself was set for good purposes uh intended to grant a reprieve from the feral zombies and resentful bullshit uh to the people of the towns but then somebody else is doing creepy things to these bodies to make more horrifying feral zombies and they're separate events right something like that and then the head only arrived two days ago so somebody is following them and it's probably the guy who we see a little bit later somebody's following them and intentionally causing bad juju where they go for unknown reasons at present. Interesting. So we destroy the array. There's a, a, a really cool visual here that I actually wanted to see again, which is when, when we shatter all the rocks, yeah, and we, we have this, like, this glass across the sky, but it isn't really, and it's neither, neither is it across the frame itself. It's limited to where the sky is, which is kind of cool, and then it shatters, shatters out, whoosh. That's very cool. There's a there's a, a subtlety to it, the way that's done that makes it makes it feel real. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. And then then we use uh, that to do a wipe, and we finally see this person's face. So is this person the person with the frosty sword blade thing, the student of Baoshan Sanren, uh, or is this person somebody else? We we get this guy's name, which is Zhao Jingchen, right? So, or no, that's the name of the, the, the far gone cultivator who had the sword. Hmm. And then we've got, got our, our crazy old lady who is a very sad character at the moment. And this is a super effective jump scare. Yeah, it's great. Super effective. So then we... Knock her out, deal with some stuff, go through this flashback. And that doesn't appear to be the same guy, does it? No. Doesn't appear to be. But he seems like a bad ass. Absolutely. All right, and then I, we've got, got this damned hand on the loose again. Ugh. Can't keep this thing down. Luckily, our, our, our boy here manages to... Uh, Stay safe, which is important. Some cool philosophy here. That uh, the sword is just a weapon. It depends on the intentions of its user. And the similar ceiling on the arm. Uh, reuse of a shot. One of the first times we've seen like very blatant shot reuse. But okay. And we use this linking spell to imbue the compass and bam and everybody is everybody is converging on the home of the Nia sect which is i think the first time we'll have seen that which is cool interesting interesting and then we wipe here and at this point we we get okay I, I, the ad is well done but i don't like that there's no distinction between the start and end of the ad 
um, I kind of have a problem with that because it goes it goes beyond either either like an inserted advertisement or simple product placement uh, because it's 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 bad to have product placement that doesn't fit the time and scope of the series. When we have a like a hard cut to an ad and it's clearly an advertisement, that's okay with me. When it's not that way, when it's like woven into the fabric of the show, I have a little bit more of a problem with that. Like if you know me, I'm I'm not a fan of advertisement in general, but I can overlook it when it's it's well done and clearly delineated as such. Like this is promotional material. Ta-da. Then I can just be like, this is promotional material, brain off. When there's no distinction, you have to focus on it, and you have to focus on it because there might be important information coming and you don't know when the ad is over or when it starts. It's a bit of an issue. So then we get the Cornetto ice cream, wonderful and crispy. It's a good ad, and, and it's got some goofiness to it. But then there's no transition out of it, which is a bit of an issue with me. It's fine, though. Um, okay. And over to Nye we go, and he's using, what is that, a mockingbird? I don't know what it is. It's not a bird that I have here. <laughs> and then we've got fairy running around, bad memories of dogs, and then this flashback where we see uncle and aww. Damn. Young, 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 young boy Wei Wushan is pretty fucking cute. Hey, buddy. <laughs> pretty cute. But off we go, and we are heading to... Everybody's heading to the home of the Nia sect. Interesting. So there will probably be some more some more butting heads between Zhang Chang sorry for pronunciation and uh and our boys. Okay, cool. This was an interesting pair of episodes. Definitely some interesting mysteries and solving of mysteries. Pretty enjoyable. Some cool fight scenes, some cool other stuff. Some introduction of some, some, I think, new characters who seem to be villainous, and that's kind of cool. I mean, in, in the last season, our primary villain was, like, the most villainous. It was when, when Rohan, kind of. Uh, I'd like to see some, some villains with a little bit more of an eye for intrigue as opposed to just brute force destroy everything that doesn't align with us. Which is, you know, he, he, when Rohan was the tyrant... Here, this villain seems to be a little bit more complicated, and I'm a fan of that. So that's kind of cool. And also seems to be dabbling in the demonic arts, perhaps, or at least using them to his purposes. So that's kind of cool, too. Anyway, I'm excited to see where this goes from here, but after with two episodes done, I'm going to wrap it up for the day. So I've been Tiabu. This has been Modazushi, Season 2, Episodes 2 and 3. I hope you've enjoyed them as much as I have, and I hope to catch you next week when we do some more. Peace. <laughs>